Man, behind the scenes, we have ourselves a new attachment, sir. How have you enjoyed living at this house? I know. My, uh, I'm walking right now. my days of being married may be over after this one. All right, guys, so here is the deal. Just for the record, I disapproved of this deal. No, you didn't. You were, you encouraged this to go down. So oh, we got to put the blame on me. Well, you are going, if I'm going down, you're going I down. I will definitely me. stay behind the scenes on this one. <laughs> so we have a few jobs coming up. They're going to require a brush mulcher. So I looked into renting a brush mulcher. Say that three times fast, brush mulcher. And uh, surprise, they're expensive. So uh, eBay struck again. So I went on eBay and I found this jewel. This is a three point hitch brush mulcher, 84 inch Fecon. Seems to be mostly in worker, working order. And uh, I hit the buy it now, the send her my way button. The, uh, the issue with this is uh, as soon as I hit the buy it now, send it my way button, my wife had a little chat about my spending habits. <laughs> yeah, you can show them what the spending habits. Yeah, apparently this stuff's expensive and this stuff's expensive and... I mean, I have no idea what she's talking about. I haven't spent much money around What here. about that 69 C10? Well, ball? you be quiet. You just be quiet. <laughs> so, I haven't had the heart to break it to her yet that I own this beautiful piece of metal that's now a brush mulcher that cost me a substantial amount of money. Now, the price reflected the condition that's in it. If anybody's ever bought one of these, they know they're expensive. So, she will not be home for a day and a half. Let's get this thing fixed and let's get it the AG double hockey sticks out of here before we get in trouble. Oh, I agree. Because it needs to find a job and make some money to replace the money I took because, yeah, it's not going to be good for Dirt Perfect yeah, at all. You're going to edit me out of every bit of this video. Oh, no. You are so. in this with me. <laughs> you are in this. We are in this together, buddy. <laughs> so, this is what we got. We got an 84 inch, uh, I think it's a 2008 model Fecon Mulcher. It's a three point hitch mount, PTO drive. It's supposed to take about an 85 horsepower tractor, which is another problem. We don't have an 85 horsepower tractor. Oh boy, I don't know if I can get that with the budget either. Anyways, uh, so bought it sight unseen, bought it used, uh, got a little bit of information on it. For the most part, the condition it's in, we're pretty happy with compared to the price I paid for it. Oh yeah. I did talk to a few people in the business. Uh, John from Upstate Brush Control One, he told me that I, I probably didn't get hurt on it. I probably did a, got it for a pretty good price. But before we take it to the job site, it does need a little bit of work. Uh, a couple things is all the safety chains down here below for some reason are broke or tore off. And I got a feeling it's gonna throw a lot, of bit of, a lot of debris up towards the operator. So that's kind of a safety hazard I think we need to address. Uh, I wanna check the fluid in the gearbox, check the bearings in it, make sure all that's good. And it does have the hydraulic door on it for basically, uh, I guess that increases the mulching ability to it. And it's a little bit on the beat up and dinged side. And of course, uh, the hydraulic hoses, the fittings are the wrong, wrong fittings on it. So, where do you want to start? I'm going to start with chains. Chains. Start with the chains. Yep. Okay. Start. start with the chains. He's going to start with the chains. So, off camera, we just had a little argument. You're going to tell the people on camera, these people on camera on the other side of the camera, I don't know where you guys are at, I apologize. Anyways, what was the argument? Huh. Our argument is this thing. What about it? I'm trying to be a middleman. I no, we, no, we're, we're done past. I'm going to get divorced. We're oh, all, you want to talk about that argument? Yeah, the other argument. I bet you a thousand. I mean, am I going to have to start numbering our arguments? Yeah, we are. I bet you a thousand dollars the way it sets and the way the uh, chain hoist sets right now, it won't pick that. And I said. I will take that bet after I turn the air on. No, you ain't turning the air on. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, not the way the air is setting right now. So the real argument was you were going to bet me $100 whether the hoist will lift it or not. I said, I'll take your $100 bet. I bet that's heavier than the 30, 
what you say it was, 3,200, 3,400 yeah, pounds? Yeah. I bet it's heavier than that. I bet it's over 4,000. I, I will 4, bet 000. you, I will bet you lunch tomorrow, you buy that that hoist lifts that. All right, I want it all the way up. If it lifts it a little bit, it's going to lift it a lot. <laughs> Once you overcome gravity, it's game over. We're not going so high, the air is getting thinner. I want it to the ceiling. Just go hook the hoist up. Is it normal to have steak for lunch or breakfast? Oh, that's about all she wants. That's it. it won't pick it. Keep pushing the button. I'll give you as much. She's heavy, but she is taking it. Give you guys a little bird's eye view of what we got now that we've got it raised up. Is I think we're just gonna go ahead and abandon ship on these as you guys can see they're pretty war I don't know if it's it's probably got a combination of that many hours on it and I'm sure these weren't high dollar chains So I got some of these old low boy chains. That's not one of them. That's actually a good low boy chain Aaron's gonna take the torch go ahead and cut these off here The new chains we put on I think we're just gonna weld them up here and let them hang Straight down that way still should serve the purpose and it'll keep us from having to clean all this up because I just don't think it's uh Worth the effort, so you're gonna cut off the remaining. Yep. We need to give you some torch lessons, or you know how to use Probably. that thing. Probably. Been a while. <laughs> and I'm gonna go over here and uh, chop up some old chains. All right, so we got all of our little pieces of chain cut. I think what we're planning on doing, is we're basically gonna weld those on there like that. So Aaron can weld up here. Aaron can get some weld on the inside. I don't know if we got enough cut or not, but we got enough to get started to find out. Were you, you getting all lazy on me? Well, I'm trying to make it to where, you said you're gonna take these covers off and do I an am. inspection. I am. I think it would be easier if you dropped it down I'm so, just so trying you can to reach it, it from the chair. You. So you can reach it from the chair. Well, I figured I'm gonna be squatting over when you get it down where you need it. So I went ahead and got this chair because it's gonna be about to ride high. Has anybody ever told you you're full of crap? No. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> well, that, that arguably happens on this channel. <laughs> You like that? Uh, yeah, you think I can reach out well, good now? I think you're gonna, you're gonna like that better. You can go a little lower, but I wanna make sure you're okay over here, because I'm you know, flexible. I can go either way. Put you in a little uh, secret, your chair is also adjustable. Yeah, I know. Is that non-flammable fabric Put on your chair? Touch the ground right <laughs> here, so. Now, uh, is that okay for you? I got that. Why don't you weld some chains on? You let me and my people worry about this side. Did you get my welder over here? Did you get my <laughs> welding hood? <laughs> so anyways. What the plan is here, I'm gonna pull these off. I don't, it's, it's gonna be a surprise. I don't know if there's a belt in there. I don't know if there's a chain in there. I don't know if there's a squirrel in there. Uh, it turns in there. I don't know what's behind door number one, so let's find out. All right, guys, behind door number one, we have a belt, a couple pulleys, and grisos. Good news is everything looks pretty good. The belt seems to be uh, it's showing some signs of wear, but looks to be in pretty good shape. Pulleys aren't worn. Anything horrible. Grease holes for the main bearings. Still hooked up. Uh, not a lot of dirt and debris in there. I'm going to close this one up and go to the other side. I did pull off 
this front panel to set the bearings in this and kind of see how the belt adjustment works. More out of my own curiosity, just kind of looking this thing over, seeing what I'm seeing what I'm getting into. Everything looks uh, pretty straightforward there. The yoke's a little bit loose on the shaft there, but the bearings seem to all be pretty tight. So uh, I think we're gonna close that side up, open this side up, and make sure we got uh, got more of the same over there. Aaron's getting his chains welded on. <laughs> we cut we cut all the chains the same length same number of links they're all nine links but uh one chain was a different link size and the other chain was stretched a little bit so uh you can see uh, oh. you remember how i told you there was an extra link in that one there was we don't need to count Maybe we'll just go through the grinder and we'll just get like a haircut <laughs> on the top <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, anyways, let me close this side up. We'll open the other side up and see what we got over there. All right, behind door number two, no major surprises here either. Everything looks pretty clean and dry and tight and uh, usable. Usable is a good, good condition. Usable is a very good condition. But if I throw this door back on, I did notice over here. One thing I found is there's just a little bit of slop in this yoke here. It's not much. I don't think it's enough to cause any issues. Everything looks tight and adjusted. So I'm going to throw it back on and probably work, fill that back together. And then we'll transition over to the uh, hydraulic system on this thing and try to get it compatible with our uh, tractor we're going to use. Aaron's getting along pretty good with our chains. You're going to have to cut more chains. You mean we are going to have to cut more chains? I've got a bunch of welding to do. I'll wait on you. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I can't get some more marked. I can do that. Yeah. No. But hey, why, why is this on. one? Why is this one higher than the rest? Which one? That one. That one. Just got an extra link in it. Did you make sure those chains won't go back and reach the drum? Well, I did not check that, but. If they were shorter than the original ones, which we had two and a half to three inches, they which should be true. fine. So you find your two the closest to you, and we got about the same distance. Yeah, we should be good on that. So it should not eat itself. That's always good. You never want anything yeah. to eat itself. So yeah, we're good. All right, I'm gonna throw this panel back on, and I'll get to marking some chains for you. All right, and uh, Tabo's over there. You can start cutting them. It is what it is. You know, it's no brainer. Job, you whenever, I, whenever you fill out an application, you did realize the job was not a comedian, right? I'm not. See, I <laughs> well, I agree with that. I will agree with that statement. Prep, fitter guy, cutter guy, and then you got the welder guy. I'm so good at my job. You I do three things, I do one thing. I'm so, I'm so good at my job, I spoil you. It's a problem. Spoil me? Yeah. So good at cutting and fitting and prepping and I want your you office roll chair then. Your, I roll want your office no, chair. No, you're not getting my <laughs> office chair. You can settle for that one. All right, none of that. We well, gotta get this thing uh, in operating order. Quick. All right, guys. So if I was the one doing this, I would try to make it look right. You know, I, I like my stuff to look nice and neat. Got like my shop, my truck. Even though I gotta go through and organize everything for they're perfect, but. See how all these chains are different lengths. You'll have a, about four or five, they're the same, and then all of a sudden you get a long one, then you get a real short one, then you get a long one, then you get a short one, then you get a bunch of them the same, then you get a short one. Me, myself, nah, I wouldn't have that. I'd make sure they were all the same. I mean, I know it don't make that big of a difference, but man, it sure would look a lot better. All right, I better get off here. Check that out, Maggie. And behind the scenes, we've got all of our chains loaded on there. That should uh, hopefully go a long way from getting stuff, stuff thrown at us. What are you looking for, girl? What are you looking for, huh? All right, so next on the list is um, we're gonna wanna do something with this, um, this mulching door has uh, seen better days to say the least. What do you think? Oh, it has. <clears throat> I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it yet. We're gonna get it off there and uh, try to get it straightened up the best we can. Somebody has torched a piece out of it. We may hang some conveyor belting or something down there, but 
Oh man, it's uh, it's pretty rough there, bud. Uh -huh. That's one of those. Uh, that's one of those. It's kind of a coin toss. Do you fix it or do you just build a new one? Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. First things first. All right. So, anyways, I'm uh, trying to think and talk, and I don't multitask very well. Just work. Well, I could have told I you that before you climbed in there. I thought it was a cotter key. It's a roll pin. Yeah, it's a roll pin. I thought it was a cotter pin. It's a roll pin. I wish you'd told me that. My eyes ain't that great. It looked like a cotter pin the way it split on this end. So but it's a roll pin. So, <laughs> I'll start over. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get that. I think we're gonna disconnect that cylinder, get it out of the way. This and this share a pin right here. I think we can get this bolt off. I don't know if you can see that bolt down there. Uh, the plan is we'll pull that pin out. We'll flip this up. Hopefully access that bolt. Drive this pin back enough to get this off. Do you guys follow? Here we go. Well, man, behind the scenes, we got her off there, buddy. Yeah, we got it off. Now, uh, what, now what we do with it? My best advice to you is, uh, what's SOT doing tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> we don't need my name cut into it. Yeah. <laughs> we just need it straight. Uh, I'm, uh... This is where your bracket is for your cylinder. Mm-hmm. That's all busted out pretty good. Did you, uh, you got that rosebud tip for the torch this time, don't you? Yeah, I think I did bring it. What do you think about this setting her up on some blocks and heating and beating? We can heat and beat it. I think See that's our happens. only, about our only option yeah. we got. So a little low heating and beating. I think if we ever get that straight, maybe we'll weld a plate in there, like weld that up and then weld a plate on yep. it or something. I'm, get, I'm getting ahead of ourselves. To. We gotta yeah. get. Well, um, yeah, we got to get it. We got to we, we get it straight first. We got to get it straight that. first. All right, uh, blocks. Well guys, there she is, beat into submission. It is not perfect. I think our plan is at this point, Aaron had to take off this evening, but I think we're gonna get a piece of inch and a half tubing and maybe use that uh, ball joint clamp. One, it'll stiffen up. Two, we can hopefully get it a little bit straighter. It's not crucial that it's perfectly straight. It just needs to be operational. But uh, unfortunately, I think that's what we're gonna end it at for today. Aaron's gonna round up some parts in town tomorrow. And uh, hopefully tomorrow afternoon, we'll have this thing in uh, operating order. So we'll see. All right, back for day two on this project. You know what you're doing? Mm -mm. It's like you bought stock in C-clamps. And uh, old fashioned blue painted angle. <laughs> yeah. Somebody forgot to pick up angle iron on their trip to town, so we had to go rob some off the old water slide. Somebody called to make sure I had everything we needed from town before I came out here. Somebody tonight. gave you a list to go to town. I said, if you got everything on the list, you're good to go. And I told you, my memory is just about as bad as That's yours. That's why so I you sent the list. And told me, reminded me. So. Oh, yeah, you got everything I need. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> After heating and beating yesterday, we got it as close as we could with that crude method. And uh, the plan is now is to get this angle iron on there, stiffen it up a little bit, and hopefully this angle arm straightens it out a little bit. This thing's in bad shape, buddy. It's coming along. It's, I got it's, my it's, hand. It's, 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 yeah, you got the straight end. I can give you the crooked end. <laughs> We're gonna get the old uh, ball joint press back out here and see if we can... Uh, That'll take care of it. See if we can finish, finish smashing her down, so. All right, let's see what happens.
Well, man, behind the scenes, it's a far cry from straight, but it's a whole lot better. Yes, it is. Go ahead and get these uh, C clamps out of your way here. Yeah, I need them down here. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like I got lucky. You got lucky. <laughs> Saved your butt. Hey. These go on the outside of the metal, not the inside of the metal. I know, but you're fitting. I'm welding. That's your responsibility. Welder should have a checklist. Checklist. Fit up tool. Hold on. Hold on. Right here. Welding tool. <laughs> Welder. <laughs> fitter. <laughs> I like the way this conversation is going, so we're going to change direction. So. We got that one there as good as it's going to get. I think we're going to take this piece of angle on and probably do the same thing right here. I'm not going to paint you guys and watching that one. We'll just give you the, uh, we'll just do the old finger snap before and after. So uh, crooked and ugly, hopefully straight and beautiful. I don't know if it's any prettier, but it's got a touch of blue now. Yeah, good touch of blue. Man, uh... <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> hey, built better than from factory. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so, sir. Here's gonna be the uh, here's gonna be the ten dollar question. We won't give this thing enough credit to be a thousand dollar question. Is uh, is it gonna go back on there? Will the pins line up? And will this extra lip right here keep it from working? At least a five hundred dollar question. Got $500 with a weld on there. <laughs> That's about <laughs> it. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you ready to... Uh, I'm ready to try it. See you ready to tempt, tempt fate here? I got a feeling I need to find my big hammer for this. Mm, I hope not. Well, let's uh, see what happens. You guys want the bad news or the good news? <laughs> the good news is it fit. It's in here. Voila. The bad news is I forgot to hit the record button. So you guys kind of missed that part. But uh, would you agree that they didn't miss a whole lot? It was pretty uneventful. It went really good. That's what I wanted to see on camera. So it was eventful. Well, I'll tell you went, what. That was probably we're not going to take our chances. Most smooth thing we've done. Oh, no, we're not going to take our chances to take it out and put it back in. They're just going to yeah. take our word for it. So, what we got is uh, actually it fits down through there. We got just a little bit of interference right here. This thing's got a kind of a belly in it. So, my suggestion is we weld a lifting eye right there and try to yeah. take the crane and, and lift it up. What do you think? I think we're going to give that a shot. I think I brought some lifting eyes from home. Ooh, interesting. So hopefully, we still got them question is do you know where they're at that i don't yes i do know <laughs> let's see uh if we can get that tweaked a little bit i think we'll be in pretty good shape yep now famous last words you ready to see what happens closes without hitting her i mean it's just barely barely but she does close so all you gotta do is grease your pins then and we gotta put our flap on there yep i put the flap on there she's getting close to operating order man oh, yeah. you ready to insert the pin sir yes, pin pin retainer cylinder I ain't the same. I know it's improved. <laughs> You're welcome. I 
I need to go a little bit further, I think. I got a glove. Oh, yeah. All right, I think we're down to, we've got some new hydraulic hoses. Put those new hydraulic hoses on. Look at these things all nice and fancy and expensive. Didn't cost me a dime. I know. Cost me several dimes. <laughs> Are these both the same length? No, one should be a little longer than the other. I'm not a real smart man, but they look like the same length. Uh-oh. There you go. What's your take? Oh, these are the exact same hose. He made two of one and none of the other. You know what? Hopefully they're both long. <laughs> Good point. All right. This end here goes to me. You need this end here. Let's go to the cylinder. Can I, can, I, can I trust you to hook that end up and I'll hook this end up? Yeah, sure can. I'm gonna hook this one to this one. All right, I'm missing parts, hold on. All right, man, behind the scenes, I don't know what else to do to it, but try it out. I agree. We, uh, we talked about putting a conveyor flap right here, a conveyor belt, flapping, rubber flappy, a flappy thingy, you, you know what I mean. But uh, Aaron actually talked me out of it. He says we need to try and run it like it is right now and see what happens. Something I don't say very often, actually it's something I've never said in my life, is Aaron's actually got more, more experience operating this than I do. <laughs> Can you say that again? No, I'm not gonna say that again. Quiet there, dude. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, that sounded good. He said in some situations, some stuff can get wrapped up in there, and you need you need some stuff. That I, I, we're just gonna. Actually, I'm too tired to put the flap on, so I'm just gonna listen to him. That's that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we got it. Everything is greased. Uh, the hydraulic hoses are on. The fittings are on. I inspected the teeth. I really don't know what I'm looking at, but I'm confident they're good enough to at least try it. So we're probably going to run it, see what the teeth do. Um, I did check the oil and the grease in uh, the grease. Add that oil in the grease box. No, the oil in the gear box. There you go. Got it. I got what it. What weight you use? Uh, Ninety. Okay. It, it was heavy. Ah. It was heavy. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, chains are on. All the guards and shields are back on. Uh, I guess we'll hook it up to the tractor and see what happens. Yep. Now, here's the next issue. This thing. <laughs> why are you laughing already? Uh, <laughs> why are you laughing? Seriously, why are you laughing right now? We this need thing, an air compressor so we can air the tires up on the uh, tractor. So, <laughs> I let Captain Cleveland borrow my air compressor and this is the condition it got returned in. Um, his exact words were, good news, it don't have any mirrors on it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you got me sidetracked. So, this thing has a suggested horsepower rating of 85. Here's the issue, I don't have an 85 horse tractor. Actually, I don't even own a tractor. I gotta borrow one from the farm. So, what I do have access to is a 75 horse case. Uh, it's probably not gonna be ideal. We'll probably not get full potential out of it. But it's what I got, it's what we're gonna use. I think it'll work good enough to uh, at least kind of prove the concept that this thing's worth keeping around. So we're going to file this old jewel up. This thing's been sitting on the farm for almost two years and hasn't been used. So uh, I dug her out of the barn the other day. We're going to put her on there and uh, put her on there and see what happens. Maybe if the tractor moves. Come on, tractor. Oh, got to put it in gear. Hey, here we go. Let's hook it up. Now, hold that. Just get the new pins. Yeah. You know one thing nice about this old tractor? It does have the fancy pull-out things. Yeah. Well, if they're gonna work though, I'll get it squeezed in there too tight. All right, plan B. We'll Just, up. Yeah, do it my way.
it up a hair. Okay. I believe we are all hooked up. Are you uh you prepared for a systems check? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I really don't know what's gonna happen. I just hope nothing comes flying out from underneath this thing. Let's, uh, let's start off simple with uh, hydraulic functions. Yeah. All right. I've ran one of these before, so uh, I'm gonna let you, uh, you take your turn on it. <laughs> does the key still start it? Is that how these work? It does, yes. I didn't but, know if it was different since it had a mulcher behind it. No, it stays the same there, but the operation, that's oh, where I'm going to go step by step that, with that you. Big dirt, it's not a trencher? No, I've tried. It won't do it. All right. You ready? Yep. That works. Yep. I explained to you which one I was putting on bottom, which one I was putting on top. That one there. Ooh, it's full of pressure. Okay. Okay. Well, that's not going to work either. We're going to have this all kinds of screwed hmm. up. Is it possible to have four hoses and have them all four in the wrong spots? That goes there. That goes there. I should probably label it. That one goes there. Yeah. All right, take two. Okay, let's try this again. All right, you ready? Yep. better. Now, see how far down it'll go. That's up. Recap real quick. This thing here seems to work great. The door come up, but the door won't go back down. And it's got a check valve in here, and I think this is, I think it's just a check valve. I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing this thing here limits the amount of pressure. It has like a, a bypass in it. And uh, we need more pressure than it's allowed us to have. So for the testing purposes, I think we're going to eliminate it or bypass it right now and see if we can get it to operate. And then uh, we'll know what we need to do to fix it from there. Well, after a quick modification, we'll see if it'll work. This side here, you'll notice looks very professional because we actually had a cap. <laughs> this side here, we did not. So uh, we just welded up the end of the hose. I don't see no reason why that won't work for testing purposes. I'm gonna tighten that down before somebody gets an old bath, but let's uh, fire it up and see what happens this time. <laughs> yep. The expensive part. <laughs> <laughs> well. I think the first challenge is hoping this tractor will just pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Without riding the wheelie up the drive. I know. All right, come on, okay. Oh, we got her. Got good air pressure in the front tires. Ah! 
think I'm ready. I think I'll just take the side by side. Oh man, behind the scenes, she's not pretty, but I think she's got a fighting chance. Oh yeah. Oh. I'll uh, I'll get your wrench for you there, buddy. What size is that? That's uh, the size you left. 13 sixteenths. The one you, the one you left behind. I said I need 13 sixteenths. I said where's 13 sixteenths? It ain't in this set. Hard to find good help. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's I, not uh, good bosses. <laughs> I have no idea if that's gonna work. I have no idea if that tractor is gonna pull it. But I do know that it's in the best operating order we know how to put it in. Oh, yeah. So uh, that's going to be a wrap on this one, guys. You're just going to have to stay tuned to see if this thing self-destructs or that thing blows up. Because both are actually viable options. Um, look at that pretty skirt. I know. Look chains do look chain. good. And them chains look real and Maggie's good. inspecting your work. So <laughs> I don't know. We got, uh, we got at least two jobs lined up for it. And if it's still in one piece, we may go to Aaron's house and do a pond dam. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> stay tuned for that, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.